Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Episode 7 and 8 of Ninjago Season 11 aired less than an hour ago. So at this point, the episodes are titled, and of course, spoilers will be in this video. So if you do not want to hear these spoilers, you should leave right away. But yeah, anyways, as we had known earlier, episode 7 is titled Ninja Against Lava or Ninja vs. Lava. And episode 8 is not titled March of the Snakes, but is actually titled Snake Catastrophe. So yeah, I think Ninjas Against Lava is again a terrible name, and Snake Catastrophe isn't that bad, I suppose. But yeah, anyways, in this video, again, we're just going to talk about my thoughts and some of the story details, some of the major details that do occur in these two episodes. Now, Ninjas vs. Lava, I think, is a pretty good episode for the most part. And it is mostly action-centered with the ninja all chained together like they were in Yang's temple, trying to escape the pyramid. And we see them overcome a few different challenges when they're tied together. And I thought, all in all, this was a pretty good episode. We see them first trying to escape the lava that is flooding them while they are all tied to the wall. Then we actually see the lava come in to another chamber, and this awakens the pyro snakes, and these vipers are awoken from their deep slumber or state of unconsciousness, and actually come to life and kind of start chasing after the ninja, but nothing much really happens there. I mean, the pyro snakes just, more of the pyro snakes awaken from their unconscious mummy state, and they pose a bit of a challenge to the ninja, but they are able to outrun the pyro vipers. And then, of course, the ninja come to that bridge that we saw in last day's episode. So they have to do some parkour over that. But they eventually escape, and then the entire area is flooding, and they're going to die in lava. But Pixel shows up out of nowhere with the Shurikopter and carries them to safety. So I thought, all in all, this was probably, I think, the best episode of the season so far. I think episode 5 was also good, too. But yeah, there was a lot of action in this episode, and it was pretty fun. Kai was also unconscious for the majority of the episode, except the end in which he wakes up, finally. So I thought seeing them fight and try to escape the temple, Sensei Yang's temple style, was pretty cool, and it definitely made it more interesting. Now, as for Pixel Ex Machina, again, I mean, Ninjago's had its fair share of these Ex Machina endings, so it's nothing too disappointing with this episode particularly. So yeah, nothing too bad with that, I guess, although, of course, it is a bit annoying. Episode 8, on the other hand, I think was definitely a bit of a disaster. And it is kind of like Episode 6 in the sense that it tries to focus on other characters. And it's just it just doesn't really work as well as Nelson and Antonia did. And I don't think that it's really a good episode at all. This episode focuses on the press on NGTV. And we get to see Gale Gossip and also some character named Fred Finley. I have no idea who he is, but apparently he's the guy who was in the newsroom and connecting to all these other cameramen and people. I don't know who he is, but if you guys know, you're welcome to tell me down in the comment section below. But yeah, anyways, this episode was pretty bad for the most part. It just shows the news anchors running around. We see that mustache dude interviewing a pyro snake. And by the way, these pyro snakes do actually talk. The actual snake ones without legs, they actually are able to talk. So that was a bit weird, a little bit interesting, I guess. So yeah, this episode was pretty boring. I think Vinny's also in this episode as Gail Gossip's cameraman. And yeah, again, we do see Gail Gossip and Vinny. And Gail Gossip and Vinny actually do get captured, which explains why in the trailer we see them floating. It's because the pyro snakes are actually holding them up with their teeth. So they do get captured. And as Fiora shows up again at this episode, and she takes control of the news stream and starts blabbing about stuff on screen to everyone who's watching the news. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Now, the Squirrel of Forbidden Spin Jitsu also makes a bit of a cameo appearance. There's definitely some hinting towards what's going to come next with that. And as you can see in this image here, we see Asira staring at what appears to be like a little kiosk for the Museum of History and an image of the Squirrel of Forbidden Spin Jitsu there. So, Asphira definitely looks like it definitely looks like her next move is to go after the Squirrel of Forbidden Spin Jitsu now. So, I think that'll probably happen in the next few episodes. Now, the ninja also returned to Ninjago City in this episode. Of course, the pyro snakes are here. They're torching stuff. And the fire fang also makes a brief appearance, although we don't see too much of that. And, yeah, the mustache guy, the mustache news reporter, tries to interview a pyro snake. That goes terribly for him because he almost is eaten. But the ninja come and are able to save him. We, pretty, we don't really see the ninja much at all in this episode. They show up towards the end to save that mustache dude with Pixel 2 and the Shurikopter. And then I think we'll probably see more of them in the next episode. But yeah, this episode felt very, very boring, episode 8. It just didn't really feel much. Also, there were there, these weird advertisements that showed up during the news segment, and Dareth actually appears in one of these advertisements. I didn't really understand these advertisements, but of course, I'm assuming these will make a lot more sense 
in the actual English version. So yeah, some of these weird advertisements shows up and you can see Dareth outside of Laffy's karaoke bar. So again, it really made no sense in Ukrainian, but I'm assuming this will make a lot more sense in English. And that's kind of all I have to say for these episodes. Episode 8 definitely was a step towards more of the plot, but not in a big way. Whereas episode 7 was some nice good old action and Sensei Yang Temple style. So yeah, I think episode 7 was definitely a good episode. Episode 8, on the other hand, was a very disappointing episode and definitely felt lacking in places. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. And if you have watched these two episodes, be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.